Hello everybody at Harvest Kids. Good to see you. I missed you so much that I had to come back again this week to, to tell you another story. Now last week we heard about God's messenger, God's prophet, Jonah, who was sent to tell some people about God's judgment, but then also about God's forgiveness. This week we're hearing about another man called Hosea, another prophet, another messenger who was sent to talk to God's people, Israel. So let's find out all about this with our stories. First of all, our story that Emma's going to tell for the younger ones, and then we'll look at the video for the older ones. Here we go. Hi, boys and girls. Here's your story for this week. It's all about a man called Hosea. Now, the people of Israel had stopped loving God. But God did not stop loving them. God gave a man called Hosea a special job to do. To show God's people that God still really loved them. Hosea was to marry a woman called Gomer. But Gomer did not love Hosea. Gomer even ran away from Hosea. And Hosea had to pay money to get her back so that she would come back home. Hosea loved Gomer even though she didn't love him back. And this showed God's people how much God still loved them even though they didn't love God. God never stops loving his people and he would pay an expensive price for us too. And we know that when God's people remembered his love for them, God would be ready to welcome them back. This week's story tells us three important things. Number one is that the people of Israel had stopped loving God. Number two is that Hosea's life showed Israel just how much God loved them. And thirdly, it tells us an amazing truth that God never stops loving his people. Thanks for listening. God wanted to send a message to his people, so God gave instructions to the prophet Hosea. Oh. Marry a woman who will not be faithful to you, God said. Be a father to her children. God was going to use Hosea's life to show his people in Israel what God's love for them was like. Hosea's wife would love other men instead of Hosea, just like the people of Israel loved and worshipped other gods instead of the one true God. God was telling Hosea to do something very difficult. It is hard to love someone who doesn't love you back. But Hosea obeyed God. He married a woman named Gomer. Gomer had three children, Jezreel, Loruhama, and Loamai. Each child's name had an important meaning. Jezreel was the name of a city, so this name was warning to Israel that God was going to punish Israel. They would be defeated by their enemies. Loruhama, which means no mercy, let Israel know that God was not going to show them mercy anymore. They would get the punishment their sin deserved. Loama, which means not my people, told the Israelites that they were no longer God's people. They had broken their covenant to love and worship God. Gomer was not faithful to Hosea. She often ran away. In the same way, God's people turned away from him. They worshipped false gods. God told Hosea to go after his wife. So Hosea found Gomer and paid to get her back. Stop being unfaithful, he said. Gomer had not loved her husband like a wife should, but Hosea loved her anyway. God gave Hosea a love that would never give up. God wanted the people of Israel to understand that they were like Gomer. The Israelites did not love God like they should, but God loved Israel anyway. Hosea warned the Israelites that God was going to judge them for their sin. He pleaded with Israel to turn back to God. Come, let us return to the Lord, he said. Let us strive to know the Lord. God was going to punish the people for turning away from him, but he would keep the promise he made to Abraham. 
Abraham's family would be a big family. And one day, Jesus would come from Abraham's family. Just like Hosea paid a high price to get back his wife who did not love him, God had a plan to get his people back, no matter the cost. God used Hosea's unfaithful wife to show the people of Israel that they were unfaithful to him. God gave Hosea a deep love. Hosea was willing to buy back Gomer even after all she had done. God's love is deep and it never gives up. He goes after his people and paid a great price to get us back. Isn't that amazing that God used Hosea's life to tell his people just how much he loved them, even though they were always running after other things, loving other things more than they loved God, that God chased after them and wanted to bring them back to him because he loved them, because they were his people. Let's pray. Thank you, God, that you love us, that your love um, 